Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing, here with Dan Gibson. I'm uh, 22 years old, I'm from the Bahamas. Um, I box for Norwich City Amateur Boxing Club. And um, I'm, a, I'm a senior looking forward to boxing the championships in October. With, um, with the championships coming up, um, obviously training's not going to be stepping up. Um, you train with a few who are younger than you, um, they look up to you. Yeah. Do you look up to the pros in the game? Do you know, um, I do look up to the pros in the game. Uh, just like I said before, um, you know, I had the Hoshis, uh, such as Michael, you know, he, he had me on this wing, took me for runs and stuff. You know, he's a really good guy because, um, you know, he, he was looking up for me, you know, so um, he's, you know, uh, he's literally my inspiration. And you got Sam Sexton as well, you know, he's a really good friend of mine. You know, always looking up for me, always want to run and stuff, so, yeah. Um, Give us a little bit of a background on yourself. What age did you start boxing? Um, I started at the age of 16, you know, and um, I walked into this gym and um, I was just throwing big, you know, big right hands. And um, it, it was hard to try and focus and like pick up the, uh, the, the amateur style and stuff. And do you know what I mean? Um, I had Glenn Saffer always on my case. You know, he was around at the time, Mark Atkins. And uh, th those guys really looked after me. You know, and, uh, um, going back to like when you started in the amateur game, uh, the scoring was all point scoring. Yeah. Since then, it's gone on to the 10-8 yeah, yeah, scoring. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it? Is that something that you found hard to adjust to, or? Um, do you know it's, uh, it's it's quite easy to adjust to actually, because um, when it was point scoring, I was always moving around on my toes, you know, like you know, from my jab, tr trying to pick up the points. But now it's 8-10 um, scoring. Uh, sorry, 10 8 scoring. It's um it's completely different. You've got to be a lot more aggressive. You know, hold the centre more. Which is really good because like I, I've been spying the pros quite a lot, such as Nathan Dale, you know, he's so brilliant um, in, in the ring and then um, spying them all the time, you know, it's all about being aggressive and uh, trying to hold the centre, so it's really good, yeah. Um, looking forward, I, obviously we've touched on the championship, yeah. um, after that, Olympics, is that something that would interest you? Or? Um, the Olympics is, is something that interests me, but uh, because I started, uh, I started amateur boxing at like quite quite old in my in, in my time. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's I'm not gonna say it's impossible to get there, but I'd be I'd I would like to turn over to professional before you know the next Olympic comes. You know what I mean? But right now I just want to focus on the championships in October. Uh, also in March, I've got the elites in March. So you know like. The, the days are tires that interest me more. Um, so, like you say, professional boxing is something that you'd be interested in. Yeah. yeah. Um, in a gym that you, you're training as an amateur, but the opportunity to go over to pros is there in a very well run stable with Graham Everett. Yeah. Um, so, we're looking championships, then going on to pro, yeah. um, and see where it takes us from there, really. Yeah, that's right. Um, but uh, before I turn over, I do want to, I do want to win the ABAs. You know, I do want to be Eastern Counties like three, four times. Do you know what I mean? So, and I do want a chance to box for the um, the, the England boys. So I do want to travel to Sheffield. You know, have a tune in there with these guys. So, yeah. So. Um, well, best of luck for the future. Yeah, thank you. And um, I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Hopefully, catch up with you when the season starts. That's right. Yeah. Thank you.